Okay. Okay, so this is the concealer that I use. It's actually a uh, Maybelline New York, so L'Oreal. Um, and I always start with the concealer. I like blending everything in as I go instead of just doing the marks. Um, I prefer to blend it in. It's like I always think of it as having just paper and crayons. Um, when you're drawing, you don't want to have harsh lines, you just want to always um, basically remove your harsh lines. It's always better when you're drawing to have, uh, first to start with the drawing, but to add on as you go, to add the colors as you go, and to make sure that you blend all your colors in before starting with the next color. Always looks better. I start with the concealer. It's very pale on my skin, I know, but once I will add uh, the rest on top of the rest of the, the foundation stick and all those things, it will all blend in nicely. So I like this like foundation sticks and now it's kind of going to look a bit darker compared to compared to um, I just put it a little bit everywhere not really looking and blend that one in as well. So of course, normally the, my face is usually always moisturized before I start it. So I always have some uh, face lotion on to moisturize my, my skin. And as you can tell, the color is already like blending in um, a bit better with the concealer. It's, a bit, it's less pale and the concealer is only on the parts. <coughs> Just gonna add a little bit more. And I like adding them just on the parts where my face, uh, there are shadows basically. So the contouring already starts with the foundation and the concealer, I already start my contouring because I know where I want my face, uh, the shadows to just be a bit darker and what I want the light to hit. That's really, I think, the main thing for contouring is like having the light hit certain 
places and having uh, other places stay behind the light or in the dark or in the shadows. Um, and that's what I use for my face. And I just top the brush really quickly. There you go. There you go. Also to start with a lighter concealer, what it does is just, it takes on most of uh, the other colors that I'm going to add. So if I'm adding the foundation, because everything else before that was pale and lighter, um, the color of my foundation will show more. So that's really how I do it. Tell us a bit more blended in. So these are foundation sticks from from L'Oreal as well. It's from uh, it's Super Stay by Maybelline. So these are the ones that I use. It's really hard to tell. Anyway, so it's Super Stay, and this is a foundation stick. Really cool just so much easier to, to apply. It is thicker, but I don't have a problem with that at all. It's a bit thicker than the, than the liquid foundation. So I just keep blending in with my normal foundation color so that it's less pale. Sorry. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And a lot of people think uh, with makeup, you're supposed to get rid of your uh, pimples. And the thing is when you have a zit on your face or pimples on your face, makeup doesn't work that magically. They will still show and they, will, they might even show more because you're putting so much product on them. So it's not actually advised to add so much product. So if you have pimples on just a few of them, like it's fine we're not perfect beings okay we can be imperfect um so i'm gonna start with the eyes soon but before i start with the eyes i have to use uh my setting powder it's translucent setting powder that i have here and i just put under my eyes 